Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Gus Snowa and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial for you guys. I know it's been a while. School just started, work and everything. It's been a little bit hectic with my time, but I have a new tutorial for you guys today and it's a really cool one. So now let's get into the new tutorial. Can you see it? So the topic that I'm going to be going over with you guys today is all going to be done inside of After Effects. It's a really cool effect that you can use either as an intro or transitions for your videos. So basically what it's called, it's either called a water stain effect, watercolor effect, brush stroke stain effect. It has many different names that you guys can use for it. But it's really awesome. I'm going to show you guys from step one on how to grab a PNG and then animate it into that water stain effect. So now let's get inside of After Effects so I can show you guys how to accomplish this effect. Okay, so now that we're in After Effects, I'm going to show you guys a little quick preview on how the animation should look. So as you see, there's nothing and then it goes to the uh, paint stain effect. So it basically is that super organic looking animation for it. So first thing to do, let's go to composition, new composition. I'm going to title it tutorial for now. You could either put stain effect or whatever. Just make sure it's 1920 by 1080 and a duration around like 5 to 10 seconds. But realistically, I'm going to make it like just 3 seconds long. But you just want that extra time if you guys want to make it a little bit longer or whatever. So press OK. And then let's go over to project. I'll find a PNG for it real quick. Let me see where it's at. Here it is and drag and drop onto the timeline and it's a little scaled in so press S for scale and let's lower the scale so it completely fits inside like that. Okay, perfect. So now we're really gonna do nothing with this layer until the end. So the next thing to do is go up to layer, new, solid and uh, let's title it effect. Make sure it's 1920 by 1080 again, press okay. And now let's start adding the effects to that layer. So let's go to the right hand side to effects and preset, type in circle and under generate you're going to see circle, you're going to want to click and grab that and drag it onto the effect layer. So this is where we're going to start adding the keyframes where it goes from nothing to basically scaling in. So right now you see nothing because it's white, the little circle for the circle uh, effect. We're going to go into the effects panel and we're going to go down to color where you see that white. You're gonna to wanna to click that and change it to red. Now you see a little circle in the middle. So let's start doing the keyframe. Let's go back up to the effects panel where it says radius. You're gonna to wanna to select the keyframe stopwatch for that and put it all the way to zero. And then we're gonna to wanna to go in like three seconds around there. And then let's scale it all the way in to where it completely covers that stain, just like that. So now you're going to see it goes from nothing to basically scaling in just like that. But it's a circle. So that's not really the stain effect. So now we're going to add another effect called Turbulent Displaced. My bad. Let's select that. Turbulent Displaced right in Distort. And we're going to drag and drop that as well onto the effect layer. And then the next thing we're going to do is just basically work on the amount and size and the effect for it. So I scale it up as much where we see basically a good little movement. Put it like right around there after maybe like 430 is perfect. Let me see. Actually, I don't want the dot in there. Okay, just like that at 430. And size, let's scale it down a little bit to like right around there because if you go all the way down it's basically back to the circle so let's just bring it up a little bit to like 24 25 so looks perfect and now we're done with the turbulent display so let's go back into the effects panel and let's add one last effect called roughen edges and let's drag that onto the effect panel and we're only going to work on the border and edge sharpness area for this effect so play around with it. you can either go left or right play around with how it looks I think we're gonna go all the way up to maybe like right around there it looks pretty good I like the edges how they look there and then the edge sharpness we're actually gonna just put all the way down to zero so it looks very soft and feathered like that 
So now you still see the red and it's not like the stain effect right now. So the last thing we need to do is go back down to the brush PNG and you're going to see these three little things right here. Mode, uh, track mat, and parent link. If you don't see that, go down to toggle switches and modes and click that. And if you see that, then you're going to want to click it again to go back to this where you see these three separate things. So make sure you have the brush PNG layer selected and you're going to want to go to the middle one and then select alpha matte effect. And now let's see how it looks from the beginning to the end. So now we're getting the animation for the stain effect. So now you're wondering like, okay, so what am I going to do with that? All right, cool. It's, it's a stain effect. With this, you can actually add clips onto it where it also organically goes with it. So the way you're gonna wanna do that is select both of these layers. You're gonna wanna right click, and then we're gonna pre-compose this and make sure you move all attributes into the new composition and we're gonna name it Stain Effect, or we could put Stain Reveal, like that. And then press OK. And then now we're in a new composition. So you guys could put whatever clips, drone shots, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can be as creative as you want with what kind of clips you put in it. So I'm gonna go back up to my project. I'm gonna look for a clip that I want to use for this. Let me see this one real quick. She really doesn't matter. I'll just put this one. Okay, perfect. I'll actually use this one. I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit so it actually fits. here and then we're going to want to luma map all right so as you see again now the clip is disappeared and what you're going to want to do is always whenever you want to apply a clip to the stain effect you're going to want to put it underneath the stain reveal composition just like as we did right here so then again like how we did the red to get it away we added it to an alpha map you're going to do the same thing but to the clip to the drone shot or whatever shot you have you're going to want to go to the middle like right here and you're gonna not click alpha matte, you're gonna wanna click luma matte to stain reveal. And then after that, the clip will be automatically linked to the stain effect and placed on it. That's why you don't see it. So as the animation goes, the stain effect is being revealed and as, as well as the clip, just like that. So you guys can do this as many times as you want. You can duplicate that layer, that stain reveal comp composition and just keep stacking and stacking and moving it around, placing different shots on it. And you can make a really cool kind of like intro or collage kind of scene with this effect. So this is how you guys do the paintbrush stain effect and animation. If you guys really like the tutorial, please subscribe and like. I'll be trying to do tutorials more constantly whenever I can. But... Thank you for watching guys and I hope you have a great new year.